Hi there, I'm Ludwig and this is SQL Bootcamp Online, the two-minute SQL series when I'm addressing all of the most common questions regarding SQL and Azure, but today I'm answering the Redditor's question. So, if you'll go to Reddit, to the SQL Server subreddit, which is ex full of extremely helpful uh, people, there is a user called South Beacher who 20 hours ago asked for help with a date. I really, really loved the very first answer from Emo8853 who just redirected them to the dating advice subreddit but with all seriousness um, the user South Beacher uh, needs to help with having those two little tables table one and table two where table one contains all of the money that gets in and um, uh, table two contains all of the money that goes out as you can see on the 1st of January they did get 50 units whatever currency it is and uh, on the uh, 2nd of January they got the 70 units but uh, they spent 30 that same day. Now what they want to do is they want to have a result like that where they'll have the information about every day and the money that goes in, got money got, that goes out. And as you can see the user just writes that they tried already something and it skips the row uh, of the 1st of January because there's no value in the table 2 for that date. So let me just copy that and go back to my a uh, little uh, database in here that I just created and created the very same structure as the South Beacher created as well. So I created those two tables, table one that contains the same information, table two that also contains the same information. Now what the user tried, and let me just paste it in here real quick, boom, is this. And of course this uh, query will not work boom, oops, not like this, but like this. This query will not work because there is no money, uh, no money um, column in that table. So first of all, very important uh, task for you, South Beacher, uh, for the very first, uh, as the very first one, if you really want to learn SQL properly, please be consistent regarding the way you're writing your code. So for example, if you are using the uh, all of the registered keywords like date that you have in here you should always enclose those in square brackets because these are reserved keywords if you wanted to create a column uh, the table called from and the uh, column called select then your uh, query would look like this select select from from it would not work, it would be considered an error. So what we need to do is we need to rewrite this query. So what I want to do is I want to select data from table one. And that's just like that, okay? So I'm selecting all of the data from table one, it works. Now what I want to do is I also want to select all of the data from table two, boom, to see whether it works. Boom, I have it, perfect. So what I want to do right now is I want to connect these two tables, right? I want to join those two tables together. So f select everything from table one that I want to join with table two. Boom. And as you properly, um, as you've properly recognized, the date column is the one that will join those two together. So I need to say, okay, the, I want to join those two on the date column. Again, as we said, since this is a reserved keyword, I should always put this um, column name in the square brackets. So date is equal date. Now, which date from which table? Well, again, user properly has aliased those tables as T1, and this one will be as T2. Two, all right. Now I need to say that this first one will come from the T1 table and the second one will come from the T2 table. All right, perfect. Now I do see both of these tables properly connected. I want to select all of the information and I have date, money in, date, money out. I don't need those dates being listed twice, but as you can already see, these are only rows from the um, from the 2nd of, uh, of January. So the reason why this is uh, the result that we're getting is that we used what we call an inner join here. 
inner join. Again, this is the optional keyword, but this I'll write it down just for the sake of example. Now, inner um, join means that you will connect only the rows that do have the matching information in both of those tables, in the left table and in the right table. In my case right now, this is my left table, this is my right table. So what I want to do is instead of having an inner join, I want to have the outer join. An outer join means that I'll have all of the rows from one of those tables and all of the matching rows from the right uh, table regardless whether there is a match or there is no match in there. So if this is an outer join, I need to tell SQL whether it will be a left, right or full outer join. So in my case, since I know that I have more information from the in the left table, what I can do is I can say, hey, show me all of the information from the left table, boom, and I'll have all of the re results in here. You can see that this result in here comes from the left table, there is no match in the right table. This comes from the left table and there is a match in the right table. What is the match? The match is a date, right? So. What happens right now if I wanted to do it the other way? What if I went to my, uh, if I went to my um, table two, right? So I want to insert into table two some additional values, and the values that I'll insert are these: two thousand. Um, let me just go with the third of January. 2022 and I want to insert let's say 100 or maybe just 10 that will be easier to pay back so I want to I want to uh, just select this table in here right I want to execute this query as you can see the row was affected and what I want to do right now is I want to see what will be my results? Again, just to make sure that I've uh, recorded that pro um, properly, I do see my additional row, well, I inserted on the 1st of March, it doesn't really matter right now, but this is the difference when you work in a multinational environment, again, this is the not the notation that I was expecting uh, since I was working in the, German, uh, in the German notation just a moment ago, but what I want to do right now is I want to see my results. Again, I'm not seeing all of the information, so I'm assuming that I did get some money in on the 1st of January, I do have some money uh, in and out on the 2nd of January, and I did borrow some, uh, probably some, or spend the money I didn't have, from my credit card on the 1st of March, right? So what I want to do right now in here is I want to switch my left outer join to see what would happen if I would have the right outer join. The right outer join would show me all of the right hand uh, table, right? So the t table two in here and all of the uh, all of the results from the left table. Since on the 1st of March there was no money in, I will see that information, but there is no info about the 1st of January, January in here. So what I'm looking at is the full outer join. And only after creating a full outer join, I will have both of those results, everything from the left table and everything that will match and everything from the right table. This is the proper notation of uh, this kind of a solution. As you can see on Reddit, this sounds like, a, this seems like extremely easy uh, problem. You just need to copy something from some other, uh, some other website and paste it into your code and solve the issue. But if you do not understand how the joints work, and this is absolutely crucial for any kind of a work uh, that you're performing on SQL, you will not get far. That's why I strongly encourage you to just go to SQL Bootcamp online, sign up for a free course when I'll teach you all of those things in less than 60 minutes and you'll find out whether this is the path for you, whether you want to upgrade your career, whether you want me to take you from on the journey from the novice to professional and this way you will take it to the whole new level. So again, uh, just go to SQL Bootcamp online Boom, that was the sign out for you to go to the SQL Bootcamp online, sign up for this free course and I'll see you on the other side.